So in talking about our treatment options for ovarian cancer, I had mentioned before about maintenance therapy. So how more specifically do we use maintenance therapy for ovarian cancer? This is a great question. A lot of maintenance therapy, the idea behind it is what could we do to help um, decrease or delay any return of your cancer. So sometimes maintenance therapy is offered to a patient after their initial diagnosis, surgery, and chemotherapy. The PARP inhibitors are a classic example of this. Other types of targeted therapy um, are also used at times. And this is really because we know that ovarian cancer may respond very well to chemotherapy, but there still is a high risk of the cancers coming back. And a lot of research is being spent on focusing in on like, how do we change that recurrence risk, right? We're really great at the initial decline and, and, and getting rid of the cancer, but how do we stop it from coming back? And so that's kind of the, the philosophy behind maintenance therapy. Sometimes maintenance therapy is a way if somebody has had a recurrence and they get treated again for trying to keep everything in check and keep the cancer in different areas from progressing or growing and causing any symptoms. So maintenance therapy is very carefully chosen because it is still a therapy and sometimes it can still be chemotherapy. And those obviously those treatments have side effects. And so the maintenance therapy always has to be balanced between what are we gaining and what are we hoping to see with making sure that any maintenance therapy that's gonna be given for a long time, sometimes a maintenance therapy is given for one to two years. Sometimes a therapy is actually, you're just put on it and you're actually stay on it until you show signs of the cancer either disappearing or the cancer growing. So I think a lot of these um, therapies, it depends on kind of where you are in this um, process and what your doctor and your goals are for the, for the treatment. And definitely you and your doctor are, will probably be having a schedule of blood tests as well as some CT scans or other types of radiology or imaging to make sure they can keep track of how your cancer is doing during that time period.